What's up, you guys? My name's Noah. I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. I'm gonna show you guys how to improve your drops in five steps. So before we jump into that, grab my finishing music checklist in the description of this video. It's full of my tips on how to finish music faster so you guys can make more music and therefore become better producers. All right, let's get into tip number one, which is make sure you have a really good drum loop before doing anything else. If you don't have a good drum loop, your track's gonna suffer, period. It's just not gonna hit as hard as you want it to. So getting your drums, here's, my, here's the drum loop here. My transients are hitting hard, my kick's cutting through, my extra percussion's in the background. We're not going too crazy here. The sample selection is effective. It's an effective drum loop. Number two is to set up some transitions and some fills. This is gonna help break up each section of your song, and it's gonna help introduce new elements into your mix. For our fill, we have just a clap right here. And these kicks that are going up, like going crazy up here. And then I have this little fill right here combined with this reverb clap that takes us into the next section. <laughs> Tip number three is make your melody singable. If, you could, if people can sing your melody, then chances are it's probably gonna be more catchy. Here's what mine sounds like. <laughs> sounds pretty good on its own, but we need to make this sound bigger and better. And that leads me into tip number four, which is start layering your sounds. Uh, let's start out with the stabs first. I have a three layered stab right here. Just a bass hit there, fuzzy saw bass there, and a string stab. Now let's add in the extra layers on the lead. Layer one is another bass sound here. Cut out the low end there so it doesn't clash, and then we have another synth sound down here at the bottom. That combined all together becomes... A lot bigger, a lot more impact, all around just feels better. The last step I have is adding ear candy. We did, I did a video on this a couple weeks back, but a refresher, ear candy is just those little things that you barely notice, but make a big difference in your track. So right here, we've got this thing. It sounds like this. And then over here, we bring it in on the eighth notes and it sounds it's a lot more prevalent. Then we have this atmospheric sound. And this atmospheric sound. So all together, we'll hear the effect of it as it transitions in here. And that gives your mix depth and really adds a little bit of extra professionalism to your track. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider clicking like on it and subscribing, putting out new videos every single Friday. See you guys next week.